Fortnite Season 2 is getting hate. From the mythics getting roasted to the most loved updates getting removed, here are 23 things players want changed. Everyone was hyped when we heard the new gatekeeper shotgun was coming to the game. After all, we have been putting up with one of the most hated shotties for months, the Frenzy Auto. Players were happy to replace this with a fresh item, only to pick it up and still get destroyed by the old one. This doesn't just annoy people who already hate the Frenzy, but it kind of makes the gatekeeper shotgun useless when we all just want to use it. Another huge problem that you guys had with Season 2 is the medallion circle. Usually, when you're hunting someone down, you can just follow the simple orange circle on the mini-map. Except, the Mount Olympus biome is basically the same color. So, when you have an area like this, most of us would never find the medallion owner. Look at this, it's right here. It's basically impossible to spot. Players are really confused though when they spotted Cerberus' glider in the battle pass. I mean, who doesn't want to fly down to the island riding a motorcycle from the underworld? It is insanely cool, only for us to grind the tiers, unlock the glider, and hang from the bottom. Okay, I know Fortnite has never let us actually ride bike gliders before, but they could have at least made a surf on top. What was the thinking you here? What? Season 2 is also becoming infamous for the crazy amount of mythics going on right now. With all these godly abilities, it's becoming a little unbalanced. Fans are pointing out how lightning strikes and dive bombs can straight up hit you through builds. You can be boxed up only to get destroyed with no way to defend yourself. Now luckily epics nerf lightning now, but this clip went viral for how chaotic Fortnite was. Even KSI was weighing in. Despite this season being incredible, it was not off to the best start. In fact, it had one of the most disastrous launches Fortnite has ever seen. Epic took the servers down as usual, and we waited for everything to go live. Hours passed, and it was starting to get concerning. Usually, we were already jumping in game by now, and that's when Epic announced a small delay to get the season up. Annoying, but nothing too serious, until we waited and learned we had to sit for another 8 hours. It wasn't even the final delay, but now you can see why it was a total disaster. People took the day off work or got home from school, only for Fortnite to be down almost all day. It sucked. Fans were also sad to hear about the fate of Ares. It's an ancient Greek season, literally everyone in the battle pass is a Greek god or mythological creature, except if you're collecting all of them and your favorite happens to be Fortnite's God of War, not only do you need the battle pass, turns out he is the next crew pack skin. People really hoped he would replace Korra from Avatar and put her in the crew instead. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Speaking of Korra, some of you didn't want her at all. We had a feeling that Avatar was coming to Fortnite, we just didn't expect it to be the secret outfit of an ancient Greek battle pass. Fans really wanted to see her in the item shop immediately, but we have to sit here and stare at an outfit we can't own. At least when the collab does drop, it's gonna have its own mythic and challenges, so hey, there is a plus side. One of the craziest last minute changes has been the reveal of Odyssey. She was the first outfit to appear, even before the season was announced, and then leakers found her edit styles. These all corresponded to a different ranking competitive, so you could probably connect the dots. It must be a free rank skin that gets better as you sort the leaderboards, right? Right? Well, that's what everyone assumed until Odyssey was confirmed as an item shop skin. Instead of being unlockable styles, these will appear based on your current rank. So if you're wanting a specific color, not only will you have to pay real money for her, you'll have to force yourself to reach a high rank and stay there. Now we're so distracted by the incredible new POIs, we've kind of abandoned the old ones. It kinda makes sense though, what would you rather pick? A beautiful city in the clouds with tons of loot or a scary abandoned hotel in the snowy mountains? That seems like an obvious choice. It's mostly because all of the Season 1 POIs have been stripped for parts, with the vaults left empty, the bosses annihilated, and guards going home. There's basically nothing here now, it's just decoration, which is a little sad in my opinion. While those vaults are empty, we have new ways to loot up called bunkers. I have to admit, these are straight up awesome, I kinda love them, but some fans have ideas to make it even better. Sadly, they take way too long to open, and most of the time you'll get to a bunker with a full loadout and nothing is really worth swapping for. Either that, or 80% of the bunkers are in the storm by the time they open up, leaving them impossible to reach. It would be nice if Epic reduced the wait time on these. But while we expected this removal to happen, it doesn't make it hurt any less. With a new battle pass, the last outfits have gone out of rotation, including a Peter Griffin. Yeah, the Family Guy set is permanently gone. You won't be able to buy Peter ever again, and fans are constantly reminded about it. With his fountain statue and flag still on the map, they're just rubbing it in at this point. Players are mostly disappointed that we never got Lois or Stewie in the game, with Part 2 giving fans the giant chicken instead. Maybe another time? And you won't even notice one of the most disliked decisions until it's too late. Fortnite always advertises their battle pass, spend 950, get up to 1500 back. And in the past, this has always been pretty simple to achieve. They just finished all 100 tiers and you made a profit. Insane bang for your buck, except in Chapter 5, Fortnite has quietly increased the grind. In order to get all the V-Bucks, you'll now need to complete the bonus rewards. This was the case last Season 2, and people were not happy about it. You had to reach level 140 to get them all, and despite the backlash, they brought it to Season 2 as well. Now, I noticed that a 
lot of Fortnite players have been frustrated, and it turns out it's their own fault. When this season's trailer dropped, you could spot Artemis looking down a sniper scope. It was so fast that most people didn't see what happened, but if you zoomed into the scope's reflection, you can make out a character wearing a red shirt and blue pants. Immediately, a lot of people were convinced this was Luffy from One Piece. The community went wild for this. Turns out a few picks was all they needed to be convinced, and that's when Fortnite dropped the full version of Artemis' journey, disappointing everyone. Now, a collab that wasn't game is the Ninja Turtles, and they're pretty awesome, but as we expected, the Mythics were on a timer, and the whole event wouldn't last forever. We knew the Turtles would vanish with Season 2, we just weren't expecting Fortnite to remove a key feature to pull it off. To get into the Turtles lair, you had to go through manholes, and not only did they remove the collab theme ones, Fortnite straight up deleted the entire teleporting mechanic too. This meant innocent manholes vanished, and all of the underground POIs we could explore have been left to rubble. Now we all thought the snipers last season were way too powerful, so it makes sense that Epic would vault the Reaper sniper, right? No, it has stayed, and players are not happy with how strong these are. You could be minding your own business, only to get eliminated out of nowhere. Thanks to mob bunkers, it's even easier to find high tier ones, equip them with attachments, making an extremely overpowered weapon. Now, when I asked you guys what could improve about Season 2 though, let's just say a ton of you were not happy about paying insane money for fake LEGO. Recently, Epic started selling build kits for LEGO Fortnite, letting you place down things like a Durburger HQ or a beach house. Pretty controversial when you realize LEGO Fortnite is meant to be a game where you can build whatever you want. It's like Minecraft selling pre-builds. It's just, it feels weird. The worst part is the price. For a single building kit, it's between 1,200 and 2,000 V-Bucks. Yeah, you could be walking around your friend's Lego world, and every different building you look at will cost like $15. They should just sell it as a real set. One thing that went totally under the radar was a change to llamas. We were all so hyped when they came back in Chapter 5. We finally had the normal static pinatas back, no more running away. And they're pretty easy to find too, but now with the Greek season, they feel much harder to spot, and when you do track one down, the loot just isn't impressive. It seriously needs a rework, either with better weapons or mobility items that'll make it worthwhile in zero build. Sadly, there is no helping the backlash to the gods' final skin designs. If you just saw these guys on their own, they look perfectly fine. But it's when you look at the original concept art for each character, you start to understand why players are a little disappointed, going as far as to call it a downgrade. Medusa used to have way more snakes, a purple design, and more intricate patterns, while Artemis had a cowl like a superhero, and probably the most controversial nerf of all, Aphrodite. She was supposed to have more detailed hair and a coat that covered a huge gold suit underneath. Comparing it to the current version is like night and day. No wonder why you guys aren't happy. You also told us that your favorite weapon attachment is gone. Thanks to the thermal scope entering the game, Fortnite has swapped out the 2x scope that everyone used last season. Now the thermal is a pretty solid replacement, but clearly some players just aren't convinced. Others are more focused on leveling up. Not just the grind part, but that rewarding sound you get every time a new tier passes. You know the one. Turns out this is the same sound that we've had for months. Usually they update it for a new season and it would have been pretty cool to have a Greek theme one. Speaking of outdated features, we are still stuck with the chapter five default loading screen. When you first launch the game, you aren't given the season two key art because Fortnite isn't just battle royale anymore. They have to include a PG image. They could at least drop an updated version cause it's getting kind of old. And according to you guys, so are cluster clingers. I guess we didn't expect these to stick around yet here they are in season two, keeping the love hate relationship alive until the summer. Definitely an item that takes getting used to. The players who can abuse it will absolutely destroy lobbies, and that's a problem, especially if you're the one getting humiliated. You could hop on a train to avoid them, but don't expect it to be any different. Despite it being such a huge feature that took years to add, after just one season, it's like Fortnite forgot about it. It quickly became kind of useless. Not only did they leave it untouched for the Greek takeover, they didn't even give us new objectives or an excuse to land here. Now, all this feedback doesn't mean the community hates Season 2. We just put together a list of the criticism we saw and hope it'll make Myths and Mortals even better. For the record, I'm starting to think this might be a top five of all time. It's Batami, keep it here on T5G. Or technically top five gaming, I just want to say it twice. <laughs> okay, bye.